My name is Tom. I'm an 88 grad. Oh, the places we'll go. Smiles will be had. I am your host for this evening so grand. Sit back and watch. We might strike up the band. Welcome to Oh, the Places We'll Go, a behind-the-scenes look at Greensburg Central Catholic. We'll have an exciting evening of bidding, a look behind the scenes at GCC, and a visit with some distinguished centurions. Proceeds go towards helping Central keep up with ever-improving technology needs. You need to be signed up and signed in to BidPal in order to bid on the exciting auction items we have. You can watch from your computer or tablet and bid right from your phone. Bidding will be handled just like the last three years through your phone. When bidding is finished at 10 p.m., the highest bidder will be notified. Physical items may be picked up at the school if you live in the area on Sunday, February 20th, between 11 and 2. Details will be available on BidPal. Other items will be sent to you via email or snail mail. Remember, there are many ways you can help Central tonight. Silent auction, with many items available for bid, experiences, outdoor items, packages for ladies and for the men, raffles, we have a 50-50, a stocked bar cart for the men, or a golf package for the ladies, Teachers' wish lists give towards items to aid in student learning and stick around as we raise the paddle. Now, please enjoy this special message as we get started. Good evening. I'm Bishop Larry Kulik, and I'm very honored and privileged to be able to be with you this evening for our annual Greensburg Central Catholic Distinguished Centurion Award and Online Auction. This is a very special evening for all of the members of the Greater Greensburg Central Catholic Community, our faculty, our staff, our families, and of course our alumni. And as we gather again this year, unfortunately due to the pandemic, this event is a virtual event. But nonetheless, it's a very important way in which we can support Greensburg Central Catholic and its mission within the Diocese of Greensburg. And I would like to take this opportunity just to sincerely thank each and every one of you to thank the faculty, the staff, the students, and the families who day after day support the work and the mission of the church in the Greensburg Central Catholic community. This evening also, I'm very honored and would like to extend on behalf of our entire diocesan church a word of congratulations to our award recipients, to Renee Powell, who is receiving the Young Alumnus Award, to Barb Zelno Hanchuk, who is receiving the Service Award, and to Ed Cristofano, who is receiving the Achievement Award. These three individuals as alumni of Greensburg Central Catholic certainly embody the virtues represented by the distinguished awards they're receiving tonight. And they, along with all of the alumni over the years, are an important part of the Greensburg Central Catholic community. On behalf of all of us in the Diocese of Greensburg, thank you for your support. God bless you and may Almighty God pour forth his blessings as I now offer a blessing as we begin this special evening. Almighty and eternal God, source of all goodness, our hope, our strength, the source of all our joy, be with all of us this evening, bless this event, bless our families, bless the faculty, the staff, and the administration of this school, bless the work that we do, and the charity that exudes from our hands because of the faith that is imparted upon our hearts. Lord, be with us in a special way. Bless those we are honoring this evening. Fill us all with a continued sense of grace and zeal so that we may continue to spread your good word in all that we do, in deed, in thought, and in action. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain forever with you. Amen. We're back. Thank you, Bishop Kulik. There's much more to follow as we're on the clock. But let's be aware of items on the block. Scholarships are available to St. Francis University, La Roche University, Point Park University, Mount Aloysius College, and Mercy Hurst University. Have a child at Aquinas Academy? We have $1,000 in tuition assistance from Aquinas. Are you a Queen of Angels family? $500 in tuition assistance from Queen of Angels. How about Christ the Divine Teacher? Also, $500 in tuition assistance. Maybe you're looking for adventure. How about a one-day fishing trip on Lake Erie? Shopping for a golfer? 
a foursome at the club of Nevillewood, Totteridge, Hannistown, or even the Greensburg Country Club. Or you could play with the pro at the Greensburg Country Club. Can you see yourself entertaining friends and family outside with a new 18-foot above-ground pool, courtesy of Westmoreland Pools? Spruce up the yard and get a truckload of mulch in a fire pit from Creekside Landscape Supply or a pergola or grill to add charm to your patio. Have fun with friends. You and seven others can cook with Rizzi. Father Dan Ulishny, class of 05, will cook a special Italian meal, special treetop dinner for two at Polymath Park. There's an ultimate coaching experience from My Fitness Kitchen or training for your student athlete from GT Fitness. Don't forget, one of 10 packages available for your central student, including Skip the Uniform, VIP Student Parking, a free yearbook, or for the central sports fan, and now, if I may, I'd like you to meet our roving reporters who are working the beat. Behind the scenes, they will show you meet Centurion One, and Centurion Two. We're clear of the buses. And it will be cool. We'll open our doors. To our wonderful school. Who are we, so you ask? We are the fun. Known as Centurion Two. And Centurion One. We'll be your guides. On this journey you'll be. All the places you'll go. Through the halls of GCC. Going through the halls, we see a yearning. Before our eyes, students are learning. We learn many things, science, history, and math, from wonderful teachers who show us the path. Looking in and taking a peek, teachers provide the knowledge we seek. Centurion's tame. Balls of all sizes and shapes in use. Believe in ourselves and we cannot lose. Volley and basket. Golf and foot too. Centurion's winning is something not new. The ox, not like Big Blue, more than a gym, many uses, not few. Practice in meets, worship and pray. Rings and workshops, depends on the day.
onto the pack where we can perform. Or learn about art is more of the norm. Watercolor, ceramics, and maybe some pics. A song or two, and maybe some kicks. Mamma Mia it is. We'll trod the boards. The purpose, of course, entertaining the hordes. Well, I'm back, yes I am, with info to offer that may just help you add to our coffers. Uh, we've got a lot of interesting and exciting items up for bid this evening, and we'd like to remind you to bid early and bid often. Keep bidding. Maybe there is something on the list that you can help purchase for a teacher, and stay tuned for Raise the Paddle later in the program. Now is the time to honor from the past. Three centurions, we are going to run up the mast. Barbara Barb Zello Hanchok graduated from Central in 1979. She's been a nurse for 38 years. Currently, she's a clinical coordinator of the electrophysiology department at the Richmond, Virginia VA Hospital. In 2012, Barb was instrumental in forming the Sisters of the Heart Ministry at her church, St. James the Greater, in Hopewell, Virginia. Barb had been impressed by the outpouring of support she saw from parishioners at St. Paul, near Central, towards her parents. She wanted to formalize something at St. James to be able to offer the same. The mission of the Sisters of the Heart Ministry is to provide support to community parishioners who, because of age or illness, are confined to their homes, nursing homes, or assisted living facilities during the holidays. They also provide patriotic support through the Patriotic Rosary and Veterans Day programs. Barb has arranged for musicians to regularly visit a nursing home for a bluegrass jam session. The ministry visits the homebound for prayers, delivers communion, anointing of the sick, and Christmas caroling. All of this is to remind those who can no longer make it to church they're not forgotten and are still parishioners. Barb has been further involved in her church by serving on the councils, being a Eucharistic minister and a lector. Her service to the community doesn't end there. In her position with the Richmond VA, Barb says her role is nurse, social worker, ethics advisor, and veteran advocate. Being a veteran advocate is near and dear to her as her father was a veteran, as well as four other extended family members served. Barb credits her time as central as forming her life by providing guidance and developing her mission in life to assist others in faith. The school built upon her self-assurance that allowed her to believe in herself and have faith in her strengths. Congratulations, Barb Zello Hanchok, on being the 2022 Distinguished Centurion for Service. Good evening. Tonight, I am deeply honored and humbled to be recognized by the Greensburg Central Catholic High School community for the 2022 Centurion Service Award. I am truly honored as I am the centurion behind the scenes. GCC shaped my life's mission, values, and vision. The teachings at Central incorporated faith, moral responsibility, critical thinking skills, service to my community, and providing social needs to those individuals who cannot share in the community. GCC placed values in my life by having faith 
to spread the word of God through the classes and the community experience they offered. Central develops each student to celebrate the dignity of every human being through respect and empathy. I've experienced this with many of the graduates from Central. Once you are a cent Central Centurion, you are always a Central Centurion. The students of GCC develop accountability, discipline, and honesty through the faculty, staff, and peers. These values are adopted in each course that GCC offers. Thank you to all the faculty for the encouragement to allow each of us to reach our full potential. So tonight, you hear about my service to the community of St. James and to the Tri-Cities community. I am the centurion behind the scenes of volunteering, serving and professing the gospel of Christ. So why do I serve? I believe my Catholic education at Central has strengthened me as a responsible, understanding and energetic woman. The values of GCC empowered me to live as a responsible Catholic in a complex world of today. Tonight, I tribute GCC for providing me with the foundation to be the woman centurion I am today. So tonight, I leave you with a few lyrics from my idol, Lady Gaga. There's nothing wrong with loving who you are because he made you perfect, babe. So hold your head up, girl, and you will go far because God makes no mistakes. Baby, I was born this way. Congratulations to my sister Barb for winning this distinguished honor. We want to thank you for all you do for your church and community. We're very proud of you. We love you. Congratulations, Barb, on this service award. We are so proud of you. You are so deserving of this with all the work you've done with all the shut-ins and veterans of St. James community. Congratulations, Barbie. Congratulations, Aunt Barbie, on your award. Congratulations. Hey, Aunt Barbie, I just wanted to wish you congratulations on your award. I wish I could be there to celebrate with you tonight, but I just wanted to let you know how proud I am. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Ryan Appleby. I'm going to Seton Hill University to study dental medicine. Hi, I'm Emma Riley, and I'm either going to Duquesne or St. Francis for the Physician Assistant Program. Hi, I'm Natalie Ward, and I'm going to Indiana University in Bloomington to study business. Hi, I'm Molly White. I'm going to either Duquesne or Penn State to study nursing. Hi, I'm Tyler Zersky. I'll be going to the Catholic University of America, and I'll be playing golf and studying politics. I'm Danny DeLugas, I'm going to Mercer's University and I'm going to play football and studying cybersecurity. I'm Bailey Coons and I'm going to Mercer's University where I'll play on the women's basketball team and I'll be studying special education or pre-veterinary medicine. Hi, I'm Matt Grisola, I'm heading to Alabama University to study business. Hi, I'm Tatum Gretz, I'm going to Villanova University for soccer and I'm majoring in biology. Hi, I'm Joe Blahovic. I'm going to Youngstown State University to play football, and I'm undecided. Renee Marco Powell, GCC Class of 2005, started teaching after graduating from West Virginia Wesleyan College. She earned a bachelor's in elementary education and a master's in reading. She became a fourth grade teacher in her second year and hasn't looked back. Through her dedication to teaching, Renee brings honor to her high school alma mater. She doesn't rest on her laurels, and she meets challenges head-on. Since she started teaching fourth grade, Renee has gone the extra effort by engaging the Thrasher Group, an engineering firm with offices in West Virginia, Ohio, and Western PA. They help her strengthen her school's STEAM program. She's also continued learning herself and used that education for the STEAM program by developing a coding club that meets before school starts. She's also engaged the community to become mystery readers who read aloud to her students who use those stories to develop writing skills. Meeting challenges head-on is evident in the extra effort Renee put in to help her students navigate the COVID-19 pandemic. Schools in West Virginia were shut down, and at a time when most teachers were scrambling to put remote lessons online, Renee went above and beyond. 
She began recording lessons without a school platform to distribute them to her students, and she found a solution and shared those ideas through Facebook. She mentioned several teachers at Central who helped to make her the teacher and lifelong student she is today. In particular, she appreciates what Mrs. Sherman, Herr Mills, Ms. Tucci, and Mrs. Kincaid and Ms. Salandro did for her as a student, and tries to teach and encourage her students in the same way these teachers taught and encouraged her to succeed. In addition to teaching and raising her two children with husband Donnie, Renee uses her talents with their church and youth sports teams. She also teaches a vacation Bible school. Congratulations, Renee Marco Powell, GCC class of 2005. On Hi, my name is Renee Powell, and I am a 2005 graduate of Greensburg Central Catholic High School. High school really prepared me uh, in becoming a teacher in so many ways. I can remember the first time I started kind of thinking about this and working with elementary school students was on a field trip my senior year. A bunch of us were talking about our majors for the following year, and I said I was going into biology. And I remember my best friend at the time saying, Renee, you work with kids in your job. You love working with younger children. You may want to think about doing elementary education. And all the things that I do now, I think back to all the wonderful teachers I had between Aquinas Academy and Greensburg Central Catholic. And even some things I use in my classroom are because of them. For example, I remember I had a fifth grade teacher who did a ton of color coding with notes. And now I use that with my students and it has really helped them on so many note-taking skills. And I think about how in my classroom I have a talk to me box. And the whole reason was because Miss Abraham always made it known that we could come to her for anything, that we could talk to her about anything. And I always felt so safe and able to. And I always wanted that for my students as well. And I think back to other classes such as German with Herr Mills and the patience that he had and patience that he helped me develop in learning really tough and rigorous language and skills. It really is something that I still think about today and I'm so thankful for because I even use it with my own children and telling them that it's not something, anything that you do that should be done the first time. It takes time and patience and repeating things in order to get better. And I, I thank him for all the patience that he had with me in working with me extra to help me do better in it. I think back to how we use music every day in my classroom, even in fourth grade, I put song to angles and area and perimeter we sing songs about. And it's because Miss Salandro had such high expectations and such confidence in me to play the piano for choirs that I appreciate it so much to this day and think about it every time I sing a song with my students at school. And that creativity was only continued and fostered and cared about by Miss Tusi and Mrs. Kincaid, who both really, really helped me understand that it was okay to be creative and that hands-on activities and through writing or projects was great. And I use what they helped me with in my classroom now too with STEAM Fridays. And every Friday, my students and I do a STEAM activity that's hands-on, that deals with math or music or some kind of skill that we are learning about. Last year, when the pandemic started, I guess two years ago now, in March of 2020, creating videos for parents, and I posted them on Facebook so that there were math games or reading games that parents could use, and I'd even put a link if it dealt with a link, so that anybody, whether they were in my classroom or another school somewhere else, could use those videos and games. I continued that with my classroom when we were remote, I had my students broken up into groups of five or six at the most. And all day long, I met with these small groups and I would prepare lessons up to two weeks ahead of time to send home hands-on materials. All of these skills I, I gained through Central Catholic and the wonderful high expectations, the rigor that I had there, I, I couldn't be more thankful for it. Um, we are so proud of you, Renee. I'm honored to nominate you for this award, um, even though technically it was mom's idea. 
Um, we're all so proud of you. We love you. Um, congratulations. And we can't wait to see what you accomplish next. Love you. Bye. She has a dedication and commitment to her students that's undeniable. She's easily one of the most dedicated teachers I have ever known. She goes above and beyond in all aspects of her teaching. I I've never known anyone like her. She's an exemplar of what teaching and teachers should be. I strive to be like Renee and show her grace and compassion. And she is a wonderful, wonderful teacher. And we should all be more like Renee. Nicholas Gatiss headed to St. Vincent College studying biology. Nichiana Jacobson headed to Pennsylvania College of Technology for performance mechanics. My name is Charles Slight. I'm also going to Pennsylvania College of Technology and I'm studying building automation engineering. Hi, I'm Laura Condes and I'm planning on continuing my studies at Drexel University as a business and marketing major. Hi, I'm Cole Spivak. I'm going to Carleton College to play football and study biology. Hi, my name is Julia Kratzenberg and I'm headed to Wake Forest University to study biology. Hi, my name is Aaron Stasco. I will be attending Duquesne University to study business marketing and play football. Hi, my name is Juliet Stephenson. I'm going to the University of Virginia to study biomedical engineering. Hi, I'm Joshua Petrusco. I'm going to Washington and Jefferson College and I'll be studying psychology. The Distinguished Centurion for Achievement in 2022 is a second generation Centurion, Ed Cristofano, class of 1992. He's the owner of Cristofano Associates, which owns and operates three pharmacies, a convenience store, and a deli in Westmoreland County. After graduating from Central, Ed earned a degree in pharmacy from The Ohio State University and originally worked for a retail chain pharmacy. An opportunity presented itself to purchase his own pharmacy, and he's grown this to three local locations. Ed is being honored for his work as a pharmacist and in the community. As a pharmacist, he's become a resource in the community for both the opioid crisis and his response to the COVID-19 pandemic. In 2010, with the rise of the opioid epidemic, he began to direct his focus to being an educator and leader with the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, the Council of Substance Abuse and Youth Coalition, and the Westmoreland Drug and Alcohol Commission. His passion to fight the opioid epidemic has continued with involvement in local school districts' administrations and their daily operation. His efforts with the opioid crisis have garnered him numerous honors from the Pennsylvania Pharmacy Association and Cardinal Health. In 2016, Ed was honored as the Ohio State University College of Pharmacy Distinguished Alumni. Ed's work also includes being involved in community organizations, such as the Mount Pleasant Rotary, Youngwood Business Association, American Heart Association, and Youngwood Lions Club. He's a current member of the Mount Pleasant Area School Board. His involvement in these organizations is always as a full participant, and he's been honored by all of the groups. In late 2020, when COVID-19 vaccines were approved for use, Ed decided to put his efforts into offering vaccines to the public. He wanted to make it easier and created an electronic registration process that allowed for minimal waits. He also wanted to provide a calmness during the COVID storm. He and his company administered over 35,000 vaccines to date. Congratulations, Ed Cristofano, GCC class of 1992 on being named the Distinguished Centurion Achievement for 2022. I want to thank Bishop Kolick, the Selection Committee, the faculty and staff at Greensburg Central Catholic for the honor of receiving this prestigious award. As I reflect over the last 30 years since I left the doors at Greensburg Central Catholic, as a graduate in 92, it's important to know that it was Greensburg Central Catholic that helped me on this life path. When I was a sophomore, I realized that I wanted to be a community pharmacist. I was already working in a pharmacy. It was my first job. I was enamored by the profession, the interaction of the community pharmacists in your local neighborhood drugstore. I also was enamored with the healthcare profession. It was a good fit for me. It was Greensburg Central Catholic, the guidance office and the faculty and staff that helped me develop a path 
to be on to apply for colleges of pharmacy. I appreciated that because at the time that I graduated as a senior, I was already applying to colleges of pharmacy. I was already looking at the road of secondary education well prepared for where I needed to be. The faculty and staff members that I've had as a teacher when I was a student, some of which are still teaching today, and those that are retired and moved on, I want to say thank you. It's truly appreciated. I remember you all and there's all too many to name in this presentation tonight. But I want to say thank you. You made the difference. That is the one-on-one -on -one detailed education process that happened at Central for me. Recently, I was asked about community service and what it means to me. And there's a saying that goes, don't forget where you came from. Very short saying, not a lot of words, but has a lot of meaning. You see, for me, when I started my career, I started in Ohio as a community pharmacist and I worked there many years. But as I went on through the years, I realized I was missing something. It just didn't feel right. Because the whole reason why I wanted to become a community pharmacist was to just do that, serve the community. My community of Westmoreland County. I moved back home. I was able to establish one independent pharmacy and we've grown into multiple across the county. It was a sense of giving back to the neighbors, the family and friends, the community I grew up in. Through the years, I've had the privilege of working on different associations, different boards and authorities offering expertise and where I can help and provide assistance. I've been given the opportunity to work on the opioid epidemic as it hit Westmoreland County very hard. Being a healthcare provider, trying to help those that need and are struggling with addiction. Most recently, it's been the COVID-19 pandemic. When I signed up for the COVID-19 pandemic, I wanted to make sure we've had the access to the vaccine because Westmoreland County does not have a health department. I wanted to make sure it was available for my community. When I signed up, I thought maybe we would do 1,000, 1,200 patients. Here it is today, we've done over 25,000 individuals. It's been one of the most rewarding times in my career. We've all come together during the pandemic. We have all have our stories of the tragedies where we've lost loved ones from this virus. Together, stronger, we will get through this all together. I would tell you for me it was the most rewarding part of my career because I got to see individuals that I haven't seen for over 40 years. And to see that sense of relief that you're helping them, there's no words to describe how it feels. I want to thank all of you this evening. I wish you well. And thank you, Greensburg Central Catholic, for putting me on my path to be a community pharmacist. Thank you. Hi, my name is Emilio Bell. I'm going to Gannon University to study industrial engineering. Hi, my name is Taylor Palomas Gannick, and I'm going to Pitt to study psychology. Hi, I'm Lindsay Zeckley. I'm going to Carlo to study business, and I'm playing soccer. My name is Megan Zambruno. I'm going to St. Francis University, and I'll be studying in the physician assistant program and playing golf. My name is Olivia Kana. I will be heading to Westminster College. I will be studying in the nursing program and playing golf. My name is Danielle D'Alessio. I'll be heading to Duquesne University and I'll be studying the nursing program. Hi, my name is Corinne Brewer. I'm headed to the University of Notre Dame where I will be studying architecture and being on their track team. Hi, my name is Bethany Renor. I'm going to the University of New Hampshire where I'll be studying exercise science and playing soccer. It's time now to raise the paddle. Last year, we raised $5,500 to fund improvements to the stadium press box, scoreboard, and goalposts. Sometimes it just takes some, some time to pull the money together, and that was a little short of our goal. But with additional fundraising, we have $8,775 in hand to do the work. 
Our goal is 15,000, and your help again this year could make these projects happen in time for the next school year. The stadium is more than just football. Soccer, lacrosse, field hockey, and track and field all use the stadium. Pep rallies, all school masses, and graduation all can occur. Your help will allow these to be easier and allow Central to show our best face to visitors. Now, let's hear from some of the athletes and coaches who use our stadium. Help us improve our stadium. Your support matters. We use the stadium. Football, lacrosse, track and field, soccer. If we look like winners. We will, we will be, be winners. winners. Thank, Thank, you Thank you for supporting Greensburg Central Athletics. Help us put our best foot forward. Hello, my name is Dan Mahoney. I'm Athletic Director at Greensburg Central Catholic. We are looking to make some improvements to our stadium. We'd like to upgrade the technology, technology in our press box, uh, reface our scoreboard, and install a new goalpost on the, on the field. Uh, we appreciate all your commitment, hard work, and everything that you do for our student athletes. Thank you. GCC is good because there's better education and smaller classes to get more attention than other schools. We get to openly discuss our faith. I think GCC is a good school because of the sports, the academics, and the teachers are very nice. One of the many reasons I love being at GCC is the frequent masses and it gives us an opportunity to be with Jesus and God. One of the reasons I love being at GCC is because I have many opportunities to share my opinions and interests. What I love about GCC is how nice the teachers are to us. They never miss an opportunity to be nice. You are to be thanked for the gracious you're being. Keep bidding for those special items you're seeing. Thank you all for attending and supporting the Greensburg Central Catholic High School. The auction will be closed at 10 p.m. for all items that have a bid. You may continue bidding until Friday, February 18th at 7 p.m. for those items that have no bid by 10 p.m. and for donations. Physical items can be picked up at the school on Sunday, February 20th between 11 and 2. If you can't pick them up, arrangements can be made to get the physical items to the winners. The Disney trip winner and raffle winners will be notified by email and winners publicized by text at the end of the event. The auction continues all the way until 10. So bid for those prizes, for women, for men. But our time is up. We're back on the lawn. Now, tell all your friends about the places you've gone. Before our eyes, no, yearning. <laughs> Going through the halls, we see a yearning. I forget it, oh my gosh. We call it the ox, not like big blue. More than a gym, many uses, not few. Practice and meet, worship and pray. Oh, I forgot it. <laughs> wait, wait. One more time. Mr. Franny, give it to me one more time. I 